Hey guys, this is Ant bringing you part two of my uh, flashlight tutorial series. Um, for part two, I will be showing you how to create a battery for the flashlight, and what that means is, um, in order to use the flashlight ability, you must have the battery as well. So you've walked up, you picked up to the, uh, the, the flashlight, you're trying to use the flashlight, but it doesn't have any power to it. Walk up to the battery, flashlight power is on, and hey presto you can see the flashlight is working. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is go into the inventory. Uh, we need to add a couple more functions into this. and Well, we need to add a single function and we need to include more variables into the check inventory interface for the battery. So first thing we'll do is I'm going to create a new function and I'm just going to call it add battery. Now, similar to the add flashlight, uh, we need to go into the inputs and we need to create a string. And again, for simplicity, I'm going to call this um, battery. Once that's been done, uh, if you go into the check inventory, um, you need to add another input in this for the battery. So it's going to be a string, same as before, battery. And then we need a new output, uh, which is a boolean. And we're just going to put battery question mark. Hit compile. And once that's been done, we've basically got everything we need so the in inventory interface uh, can communicate and know when something's been picked up and put into the inventory. Next thing we need to do is we need to go into the blueprint for the first person character. And if you have a look on this check inventory, you can see that the battery has appeared and so is the boolean for it on the, the output. What we need to do next is we need to go into the check inventory. And we need to also create a variable for the battery. So I'm going to call this one battery1. One. I'm going to change it to a string. And same as before, I'm going to make an array out of it. What we need to do now is you need to drag that into the viewport or event graph rather. Select that control W to copy it. <clears throat> Connect these nodes. Hit compile and there you've got the, uh, the contains element done. Next we need to go into the event graph and we need to add an event for the battery. So just right click in the graph event add battery, drag your variable in, copy that node there, and then we just need to connect it. Wrong. Connect your exec pin in there, and your battery pin there. Hit compile. Okay, the other thing we need to do is as well um, is we need to make sure that the the input flashlights turn lights on is also checking that the battery is in the inventory system as well and that's just located up here so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to move these two nodes out of the way I'm just going to add another branch and what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically connect the battery up to here I'll click on that plug that into there. So what the first thing I'll check is my stick. Print string. It's need flashlight. So at the point, if the player's um, not approached any of the objects, not picked anything up, if they press um, the F key for the flashlight, it'll hit this boolean first and say that it needs the flashlight. Um, another thing we can do is, it's just on this point, is type in battery. So if the player's picked up the 
picks up the flashlight, but they don't have the battery, it'll just say need battery. That's put an exclamation mark there. Hit compile. And that's how your blueprint should look within the within the event graph. Um, also in the check-in inventory, that's what it should look like as well with the contains. Okay, to create the battery, um, we could do two things. We could either go into right-click, click blueprint, uh, blueprint class, and select an actor, and do it the, the, that way. Or we could do it in an even quicker way. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this uh, class here. I'm going to rename it battery. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a couple of changes to the object in here. So instead of going into, you know, creating this, adding all the collisions in that, I'm going to use the same object. So I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to change that to a static cube instead, which you can see here in the viewport. Scale it out a little bit. Hit compile. Now, because I've duplicated it, I've still got all this functionality here with the collision and the enable input and pressing the E key as well. The only thing I'm going to do differently is I'm going to have to change these around. So first off, I'm going to just uh, delete that, drag it out of that to, and then to change that to add battery. And essentially, all I've done is I've just uh, replicated the code. I'm not having to go in it, type all this in again, and having to you know connect all these nodes. All I have to do is change a couple of few nodes. Now, because it's interacting with another object, uh, we need this blueprint to basically check to see if the other object's been picked up first. So what I'm going to do is drag it off of our actor, check inventory. Uh, what I want to know is, if I hold, uh, press B, left click for a branch. I want to know if the, the flashlight's already been picked up. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drag the flashlight components into there. Connect that. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a print string to debug it. So, in this scenario, if the flashlight's already been picked up, I want the message to say that the flashlight power's on. Connect it into the destroy actor. Duplicate that, change the message. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have another print string. So if the it checks to see if the flashlight's in the inventory, if I have if it's false, it will go down to the print stream to say that you've got the battery, now you need the flashlights. If uh, the battery's if the flashlight's already been picked up, it'll go through the branch to say it's true and it'll turn say it's the and the print stream that the, the power is on. Hit compile. Now similar to that, we need to make changes to the, the, the flashlight actor as well. So what will happen is um, that that bit's okay, but we need to run the same check to see if the battery has been picked up. So we check the inventory. Uh, we hold B, left click again for a branch, and we want to know if just disconnect that node a second, just to make it easier. We want to know if the battery's already been picked up. So again, I'm going to use print strings for this. Just copy that 
twice. So flashlight power on. And in the bottom one. So pretty much it runs the same check to see if the either the battery if you go if you pick up the flashlight first and you don't have the battery it'll say that you need the battery if you pick up the battery first and you don't have the flashlight it'll say to the um, that you need the battery to, to for it to work the ability to work now with the the print string basically give both uh, states so that that's just used for debugging to tell the player where they're at. Um, I'll do a quick demonstration. Um, the other thing we do quickly do as well is in the event graph. I'm just going to give that a green material. It's nothing much. It's a constant free vector with uh, a green applied. Um, again, I'm just using it for the demonstration. Um, so if you drop the actor into the world, this represents a battery. test that with play. So I picked up the flashlight, it says I need the battery. And there you go. It's basically the ability is working. If I do it the other way around, pick up the battery first, then pick up the, uh, the flashlight, a flashlight powers on. Okay guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, I hope it, you find it useful. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to write in the comments. Um, I'll try and answer them if I can. Um, and hopefully uh, I'll bring out some more tutorials as and when I can get around to them. Uh, thank you.